Hey guys, Nick here with Gear Nut. <laughs> Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of these little yellow birch outfitter organizers. Now, I'm not sure exactly which model this is. Um, JP did send this little puppy down <laughs> in a care package. Super awesome guy, JP over there at EDC around the world. Go check him out. Um, I also do videos over there as well. But JP sent this little beast down for us to check out. And I am blown away. This thing is a great daily essentials pouch or a glove box pouch. You can throw it in your back pocket, but if you try to sit on this thing, you're going to be not so happy. <laughs> so anyhow, let's take a look and see what I've got in here. But honestly, this is something that's going to stick with me. This thing fits in my nutsack, rucksack, interior little pouches extremely well and it fits in my Nutsack Satchel Pro interior pouches and organizes them extremely well. I can grab this, pull this thing out, and get whatever I need out of it, and it's all organized. I know if something's missing. <laughs> it's really, really cool. So on the front here, I've got a backup food prep knife. So this is the Benchmade Proper. Great little blade, absolutely love this thing for food prep slash processing, this thing's handy. It's a nice little blade, and honestly, I use it quite a bit. I use it more than I thought I would. I mean, who would have thought a food prep knife would be, have, would be handy to have around? Something that you might reach for more than you thought. And honestly, it's pretty sweet. So I've got that. Um, I carry a Leatherman on my belt, and I always run into the need for the bit kit, but, I don't want to carry this on body. So I try to have it laying around and I've been looking for a really good carry option for off body carry for the Leatherman bit kit. And honestly, this is my solution. Look at this thing. It fits right in there, super easy to grab. I got them tethered together with some of this little micro paracord or whatever this is, it's the 95 pound paracord. Great little lanyard cord. And there you go, I got my bits with me so I can fix things. Super cool. Uh, writing instrument is a Boker Rocket Pen. This is the aluminum flavor. And I did take and put a Fisher Space Pen insert kit inside of here. So it just got an upgrade. Absolutely love it. This aluminum version is way, way lighter than the brass. <laughs> Night and day difference. So if you don't like the weight factor, go for the aluminum. But if you like the dense, high quality feeling, go for the brass. And I've got both, I love them both for different reasons. Fantastic little kit item. Notebooks, you know me, Field Notes, son. So Field Notes notebooks been, have been a staple in my kits for a long time. I use them quite a bit and I can tear the pages out. That's what I love about it. Do I wish it was right in the rain? Yeah. But the Right in the Rain notebooks for their pocket are smaller. You get less paper. You just get less for your money. So that's why I stick with these Field Notes notebooks. I make my own notebooks as well. But I keep going back to these. They're just good stuff. Good quality stuff. Now, the items in the back, in the back of here are a little bit different. <laughs> you know me, I'm an anchor guy. But JP sent down something that is just perfect for this kit. It's something I reach for all the time and it's not the cords it's what the cords go into so i've got a micro usb cord here for my wife and i've got a iphone cord here a lightning cord for me and you might have guessed it <laughs> i've got jp set down one of these little auto drives right and surprisingly enough i can get a couple different charges out of here depending on what i'm trying to power and yeah i can even charge some of my 18650 flashlights with this thing Super freaking cool, super small, inexpensive, you know? So if I have to lend it out and it never comes back, I'm not losing an expensive anchor. So that's just part of it. Um, but if you're wondering what fits in these, I mean, I'm not gonna make a video with everything under the sun in it, but I will show you what works for me. So big shout out and thank you to JP, really awesome guy for sending down a couple of these items for us to check out. This stuff's amazing absolutely love the quality of this yellow birch little organizer this thing's cool this thing is cool it's going to stick around that's for sure 
So hopefully JP didn't want this back because it's going to stick with gear nut for a while. And honestly, it makes my life a lot easier. I have one more version of this. Um, if you guys want to see what I have in the other yellow birch outfitter organizer, let me know in the comment section below and I'll, uh, I'll make a video eventually about it. So Nick here with gear nut. Thank you, JP. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. <laughs> Go out and build a couple of these little kits because someday you're going to save your butt. So I'll check you guys later. Give me a thumbs up if you want to.